What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Easy Company event. I am your broadcaster for the day. Those of you that don't know who I am, I am Durag, the tried and true tank commander. So right now, it seems like the British aircraft are coming in, but I don't see any paradrops just yet. The higher-ups told me that this event is going to be the same as the one that I participated in, so I can sort of see it to the future. Basically what's going to happen is that there's going to be a bunch of British forces that drop from the airplane and they have to capture the bridge that's right here. This is only the first act. There's going to be Germans on both the north and the south. The second half only starts when the British are defeated at the bridge. The British will fall back to Drill that's on the other side of the map and they have to defend that position. So basically the Germans become the attackers. So right now the Germans are the defenders. Later they, be they become the, de the attackers. So uh, let's see how this goes. So there's quite a bit of clans that are actually in this uh, event. The only ones that I know of are 7 Cav, Squad Ops, and Easy Company, but there is quite a bit more. The people that are running this show is actually Easy Company, which I am a part of. Um, so the key point right here is that the British are trying to take this uh, bridge that's right here. The Germans are on both sides of the bridge, and they are trying to defend it. I'm not sure if the event has actually started yet. Uh, I don't actually see any British people jumping out of the airplanes. But this is how it's supposed to go down. At least if it's, as, if it's the same as uh, the previous event that we had. Uh, I was actually on the ground the last time around. So we got a Panther, we got a Panzer IV. So the match is obviously just barely starting. Everybody's trying to get into like position so that they can actually defend the bridge. Um, there's not too much going on. I haven't seen any British that are hopping out of planes yet. Planes are actually disappearing. Let's go back across the bridge over here, see what's going on on the German side. So the blue dots are actually Germans and the red dots are British. Well, I can actually see British inside of the airplanes now. Oh, so we got the British are landing. Oh, and they're taking a lot of shots. Oh, here they come. Yeah, the Germans are shooting at them. Uh, so we got British coming in from the, what is that, west and east side. The objective is to take the bridge. It looks like they're getting slaughtered. Yeah, that squad just got slaughtered. Basically, there's maybe like two of them left. So they're hiding in the trenches right here. Uh, I believe there's only one guy left here with this one. On this side, we got... That guy's dead. This guy's dead. Yeah, this guy's dead. Alright, let's check the other side. The Germans are obviously victorious over on this side because they got a uh, really unfair advantage. Um, because it's not like they could shoot back. So at least this squad got out okay. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other squads that are on the other side at all. And of course, now we got the commander saying that um, if the British forces die, then they have to spawn. They have to await a spawn that's in a specific area. So basically what's going to happen is that the Germans are going to have to sweep around and figure out where they actually went because they retreated. They retreated somewhere off to the north. Is it north? No, south. My bad. The Germans set up some defenses right here. This tiny little force wiped out a bunch of them. Oh yeah, we also had uh, a fob that's like sitting right over here. There should be a fob up in the north and one up in the south. I believe this is the only British force in the area. As far as I can see. See, whose squad is that? This is Op Squad. 
squad ops. We got uh, seven. Seven ID. I think that's the first time I've ever sh heard those guys before because I don't think I've actually seen them. So yeah, I believe this is the last British squad in the area. At least I don't. Oh, wait. There's some more coming up over here. Ooh, got a sniper. Did he kill anybody? Doesn't look like his pot shots are actually working. Looks like there's more British over here. Looks like these British have actually been somewhat successful. Uh, they did lose a lot, quite a bit of guys right there. Uh, but they did wipe out all the Germans that are in this general area, it looks like. I don't see anybody. Is that guy alive? Oh yeah, that guy's alive. But he has like a big line of sight on all these guys right here. He's probably having a field day just taking all these guys out. But they're assaulting him. Oh, they see him. They see him. Oh yeah, they got that guy. They gonna take that guy? Yep, they got him. They might actually be able to take out this hab that's right here. Uh, this thing is actually by itself. Yeah, they could actually take this out. It's one lone hab that's by itself. Man, this one position is taking a lot of heat. This guy's lucky to even be alive. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he killed him. Nice. Oh. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Well, that was the last guy right there. He might actually take that out. Uh, we got one more guy right there, but I don't think he sees him coming in from the south side. How's it looking over here on the bridge? We got the British coming in on the, what is this, east side? East side. Looking at this trench. I don't see a whole lot of Germans that are actually on the bridge. We get maybe like two Germans. And the rest of them seem to be, I oh don't know, there's two right there. Okay. What's happening on the other side? Anything? According to the map, it doesn't look like there's any British on the north. I think they're all on the south. So I guess we're just going to stay down here until they decide to either push up or... Actually, I don't even think they're going to. Oh, it looks like they're actually taking out that uh, fob that's down to the south there. They might actually be successful at taking that out. If they take that out, then the Germans are going to have to start running across the bridge from the north. Whoop. Oh yeah, the British forces have taken over this general area. I don't know if they're allowed to take down the fob though. I mean, I would. Maybe they just haven't noticed it yet? Yep, they're all just huddled around this general area. They're gonna take it down? Yeah, it looks like they're, pre they're preparing for an all out assault, I'm guessing, over on the bridge. Yeah, there's quite a bit of British. Where the hell did all these guys come from? How far do these pair of drops actually go, I wonder? Alright, so we got British creeping up on the bridge here. And, uh... They look like they're actually winning this fight. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Alright, let's see, we got British coming up on uh, the very south side of the bridge here. 
They, be, they could be coming up behind these Germans. Let's see what he does. Oh, yep. Yeah. How do you not see them? It's right there! Oh my goodness. Are these British talking frickin'... <laughs> the British people are talking in German. Yeah, these British are doing a fantastic job pushing up on this south side here. They could actually win the game, I think, if they actually capture this bridge. Uh, the Germans are not having a good time pushing them out here. Uh, these British really need to start pushing up. I don't think they know that there's no Germans on this side. Yeah, they need to push up to uh, defend this position that's right here. the British are now pushing up on the south end of the bridge here. They should have a clean line of sight to take out all these Germans. All these Germans don't really have too much cover. Yeah, they're pretty screwed. So one thing that's different about this event so far, the British are actually taking a piece of this bridge. There's a chance that they could actually win it before the game actually gets into uh, a specific part. They only have a certain amount of time before they can actually push off. Oh god, that fish eye. Oh, did they wipe out all the Germans? Yeah, these Germans need reinforcements, like, right now. Oh, it looks like the British are falling back. Oh, shit! Damn, that actually killed quite a few of them right there. Looks like we got the tanks moving in from the east side. What's this? Ooh. Is that a British guy? Can't tell. Yeah, these British guys are like huddled around this area. They need to push up onto the bridge more. They need to help out these guys. These guys are dwindling in numbers here. Yeah, the British are putting up a fantastic defense over on the south side. This is a lot more than what uh, what they did on the last time. Hey, yeah, I was on the German team, the last team, and uh, Hold on, I'm coming to you. we annihilated the British the last time. Yeah, the Germans are just having a tough time getting over here. Like, what the hell is taking them so long? Are they stuck on the other side? Oh, this might be wise because there's a fucking panther in the way. There's a bunch of infantry on the ground coming towards the bridge right now. Don't have depression quite down to it. Can we back up just a little bit more? Yeah, they really secured that house or it's a right there. Down. We're gonna have to go a little further back, I think. second hit is the top of that building. Oh, 
that I just missed. I don't think that got anybody. They might have gotten friendlies, if anything. Yeah, the British, uh, this event, are having a fantastic job pushing up, but, oh shit. A big problem is that they don't have any tank support. Uh, I don't believe they have any rockets out on the field, as far as I can tell. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like the British have any rockets out on the field. So I don't think so. Looks like there's German forces that are coming up behind these guys. Uh, let's see if I can find them. Yep. The blue guys are the German forces and the red guys are the British forces. And they're spawning in from that fob right there, which I didn't... I'm not sure if they were able to not, uh, take that down. I believe they took it down on the last event that I was playing. I'm not sure, though. But yeah, the Germans are really moving up on this area. They're going to come up from behind them. But I think the British realize this. Yep, yep. Here they come. Okay, they see the half track, but they don't see all the. Oh, yeah, they see him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That killed a fuck ton of them. That was a fantastic Stuka drop right there. Oh, man. The Germans need to push up, like, right now. There's only one guy left, and it's this guy. What a fantastic Stuka drop. Give that guy a medal. Alright, looks like we got a couple of guys that are sticking underneath the bridge. Can they do anything over here? I don't think they can really do anything. But these guys really need to push up. Oh, my phone just went off. Sorry about that. It looks like the Germans are really pushing in on the south side here. The British are losing a lot of troops. I don't think they see this uh, gun that's on the roof right there. That would be really helpful. You know, I don't know if I've already said this once, but man, this is a valiant defense that's going on by the British. I don't think, I don't think I've actually seen them do this kind of thing before. tank coming up. Here's the panther. But I don't think he sees that uh, guy that's right here. This is a guy uh, anti-tank. Oh, here he goes. You gonna shoot? No, he's too far. Oh, shit. Ooh, what a shot. I'd keep going forward, dude. Oh. One last shot. How many shots does he have left? God damn. The British are way more successful in this event than they were in the previous one. They're kicking the Germans' ass right here. They already took out a panther in the beginning, and the game hasn't even gotten to a specific part where it did the last time. The British are just kicking ass. They might actually take this bridge. They already took out a panther in the early game. 
I would back off, Panther. You have like no infantry support. Oh yeah, there's a guy chasing after you. Two guys. Let's see, they're gonna get him. Got some German forces over here. They're using the. Uh... I didn't know you could use this tank. Whatever happened to the Panther IV? The, the Panzer IV. Oh, it looks like they fucked up this entire squad here. Yeah, the beginning has just been a fight. Like, this is the longest that I've actually seen the British actually holding out here. There's only maybe a couple of them left. But man, they did a number on the Germans. Holy shit. This is like the British resistance right here. And they held, they held a good part of this bridge right here. At least half of the bridge. Yeah, it looks like the British are really dwindling down here. See this confrontation here? You gonna see it? Nope. Anybody dying that? Oh shit, he actually got him. It's only like one guy left. Two guys left. There's not a big enough German force to come in though. I'm a little confused as to where all the Germans are. Uh, according to the map, they're somewhere on the south, mostly. Uh, and then we got a bunch of Germans that are just shooting the shit out of the bridge that's just right here. What they need to do is come and take out their spawn point. Which, I don't know if they actually see that. But there's not a whole lot of British left. So we got a commander, is that a radio man? We got a radio man that's just outside this building, I believe. Oh no, is that a German? Oh, that is a German. Oh, okay. Get their spawn point. It's right here. Get their spawn point. Come on, buddy. Spawn point. You know, I would be afraid to spawn on the spawn point because that's a long fall. Okay, so it looks like the British have been wiped out. Uh, for the most part, I don't see too much here. Maybe some in this house? I don't see anything. Eh. Okay, we got one here. Well, at least I know there's, there's some here. It's a supply cache right there. I don't know if they're supposed to take that out or not. And it's gone. Now they need to take out the other one that's like right here. I just want to yell at him. Hey! Actually, he could probably hear me. <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, well, he, f 
Oh, okay, got it. What the fuck? Medic. All right, so it looks like a majority of the British has been wiped out, but man, that was one hell of a fight. That was a lot better than what happened uh, last time when I was in this event. Looks like there's only a couple of guys in this house over here, last I checked. Um, let's see. Silent. Wow, what a name. Silent, I believe in you. Oh, he's running for his life. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, he's so dead. He's so fucking dead. Go, Silent. Go. Go, buddy. You got this. Oh. That about does it for all the British team, I believe. I don't see anybody else. Yep, I think that's it. Man, that was a really... That was a really good... Um, first half here. Yeah, my first half sucked. Like, we just annihilated them last time. Uh... But oh man, the British really put up a fight there. They literally cleaned out the south side of this bridge. I'm actually kind of shocked that uh, they even got that far. And they held out for a really long time. I'm actually impressed. Um, so, my understanding is now the British need to fall back to um, a certain position now. And I believe it's over here at Drill. So I'm gonna... I don't know if I should stay or... I mean, I guess I'll wait until I get the command. Because the Germans don't actually know where the British are. So what the Brit what the Germans are going to do is basically sweep around to see if they can find them. Uh, eventually they'll find them, and then they have to take out the pos their position that they're at. So basically the, Brit the German become the attackers. Yeah. I know this because I played the previous event and they told me that this is basically the same event, so... Uh, unfortunately, my recording didn't work when I tried it last time. Hey, Durag, how's it going? It's going. Hey, everybody, it's Michael. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to check in on Durag's uh, recording here. Hey, uh, Durag, is everything going good with you? You understand everything's happening? Yeah, I know everything. Uh, I'm just, just basically explaining as to what's going on because uh, if it's anything like the last event, then I already know it's going to go down. Uh, I don't know if the German team actually knows the position. I mean, I think they're just like uh, exploring at this point, right? Uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and explain it a bit. So the German team is relying on live updates from their high command to locate the uh, British weapon caches west in Drill. Right now, the German army seems to be maneuvering through the middle of the map of Drill, um, their eventual objective is to get into the city of Drill and dig up all three ammo crates. There are three ammo crates placed in the city of Drill, and they'll have to dig them up, whereas the last event, they had to blow up ammo trailers. But this time, we're doing ammo crates, and they have to dig them up all the way before they're destroyed. Okay, so... Um, what was I going to say? Shoot. So, but they don't know that they're actually in drill, though, right? They have to, like, find them, for the most part, until the commander actually gives them the full hint. Exactly. So the commander will be walking them through it. But once the German team finds that enemy presence is in the city of drill, the, um, we will start a 35-minute timer. And in that case, the Polish team has 35 minutes to defend all three uh, ammo crates. Uh, without letting the German team dig them down. And they have to defend all three. If they lose, they'd have to lose all three to lose the game. And they have 35 minutes. Yeah, so the Germans basically become the attackers. Man, I gotta say that that fucking beginning went off a lot better than my previous event. The British basically got annihilated in my event, but this one, they were actually coming onto the bridge and actually holding it for a while there. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of great coordination. Uh... Jackal section in particular and squad ops doing a great job holding in 
the German team had to actually construct mortars, place MG, and uh, put their armored car at a distance before they got enough firepower to take off the people on the bridge. Yeah, they actually... The British actually managed to take out a Panzer tank. Yes. No, they, I saw um, Squad Ops Assault take out a Panther. Yeah, Panther, so, sorry. Yeah, 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 okay, Panther. So they've actually taken one of the German team's only tanks. They don't get any more tanks than what we've given. Yep. Yeah, my previous game, we fucking annihilated them. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's actually kind of surprising that they were able to take out a tank so soon. And... It kind of has me worried for um, the German team here, because I'm not sure how they're going to do on an assault. Yes, uh, we'll have to have the German team redeem themselves. I'm not too sure if that first objective was more of the Polish team very tactically apt, or the German team not ve being very tactically apt. So we'll just have to see at this uh, defense at drill. There'll be a lot to show in this uh, upcoming piece. Yeah. Um, so I can already see the British here. I'm like slowly flying over to their position. Because um, the last time the Germans just literally did like a circle, like kind of like a fish hook before they actually got to drill. Um, so I'm just curious to see what they're up to. Because back, right. back when I was in uh, mine, they had a fuck ton of defenses. Like I couldn't even see past all the goddamn bunkers that they built around that. And I know that they don't have any tanks. Like, the only thing is that they have is ATs, as far as I can tell. Uh, right? No tanks, AT support only? Hello? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, uh, Durag. Yeah, so, uh, you were talking about, uh, the, fi the fish hook maneuver, sorry, with the German team? Yeah, we kind of did, like, a fish hook maneuver, because we weren't really sure where... <clears throat> they wanted us to go, so we, we did kind of like a fish hook, you know, just going around the map to see what the frack they are. Um, and it looks like uh, the Germans seem kind of lost. Yeah, I'll be honest, the uh, Polish team doesn't look too solid either with their defenses right now. Well, I mean, the interest, yeah, go ahead. To be fair, they don't know where the attack can come from. This is not this is not a one-sided game. They can come from any fucking direction, so it's like Exactly. Um Yes, uh, they can come from any direction. It will be entirely up to the German team into how they want to approach getting a foothold in the city of Drill. Now what'll be really interesting to see how these churches in the city of drill factor in because as it's common knowledge in this game the churches are really good footholds if you can get a regroup call in a church and just hold the building i mean you've now divided the entire polish defense of drill so so we'll just have to see how the uh polish team defends the churches defends their fobs and defends the weapon uh crates because uh because uh they dig down the fobs or the weapon crates, and they don't get any extras. Uh, they don't get any more fobs. Those are all the fobs they have. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're setting too much defenses up in the north here. Um, or wait, is this north? No, south, northwest, I want to say. Northwest where the factory is. It doesn't look like they're setting up too much defenses. Um, I can see the bunker, like one bunker, but... Oh, they got a couple of barbed wire. That's... Uh, apologies, Durag. I was relaying some orders to the, uh, Polish team. But, uh, yes, sir. Uh, things are looking very exciting. Um, the German team do have access to strafing runs, smokes, and an occasional Stuka. So, even if the Polish team hunker in really good there is the chance that uh, that you know the line can be broken through a uh, ordinance yeah uh, when they were holding the bridge I can hear like a plane coming and I look up and the Stuka bomber comes down and 
boom, just knocks out the entire squad that's holding that one position. I'm like, damn, give that bomber a medal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I saw that too, man. It was actually, it was incredible how they held it for as long as they did against the odds. That was great. Yeah, this kind of has me worried for the German team, though. I'm just like, how, how are they going to come up with, you know, they had a tough time on that bridge. Uh, I feel like the British team is a lot more coordinated than the uh, German team right now. Yeah, certainly. I am getting that vibe as well. But it was interesting to see how the German team adapted to them knowing the uh, strength of the enemy. They had, uh, they had coordinated sections to spawn in the south at the at the trench fob and moved to the bridge from their uh, south side. And then they also had a group, uh, half track mortars and an armored car to the east, hitting them from that side. So it was really interesting to see how they, uh, you know, surrounded them on that. Well, it looks like we got some first Germans moving up to the south uh, east here, getting a little closer. a little bit closer, not too close. I'm advising the uh, Polish team to uh, put some tank obstacles on these roads because, uh, you know, we have a extreme um, disadvantage with not having any vehicles. How many uh, set pieces do you have? The Polish team has two AT guns, two fobs, and three weapon caches. That's it. Everything else is uh, being constructed. Barriers, sandbags, razor wire, tank obstacles, etc. It's going to be really interesting to see how they utilize their defenses um, to hold off against a German team with more vehicles, more um, ordnance from all directions. <clears throat> so it looks like they have defenses coming up on their, what is that, east? They have defenses on their east where the church is. Um, no defenses where the other houses are. That could be a problem if they split the forces in half. Looks like they have a bunch of defenses down to the, what is it, south? They got a bunch of tank traps blocking the road. They got sandbags blocking the road. It's actually great if a tank wants to roll up in here. Actually, I don't know. Can that uh, tank roll over this stuff? I don't think it can, right? No, the tank really can't roll over any of these type of things. So, yeah, it's very good, especially because uh, they've got one of their weapon uh, ammo crates under this vehicle. Um, and so, you know, they're trying to restrict the enemy from even getting into the uh, vehicle tent to dig down that ammo crate. It'll be really interesting. Um, if I had to say anything was wrong, I would say that their entire west is pretty exposed. Um, but we'll have to see how coordinated the German team are here. Yeah, affirmative. The uh, In the uh, Polish planning last night, they uh, said they were going to put out a QRF section to react um, to the different fronts, the north, south, um, and they were going to station them in that western forest so uh, so they could try to uh, not only protect the west side but also have a unit to uh, readjust on the fly. Because it looks like they have a very tiny forest that's to the west here, but if there's enough people that could literally overwhelm them. Alright, Durag, I'll be right back. Oh, shit. Uh, I probably should have turned off my Discord sounds. Sorry about that, folks. I am also replying to this Discord ping because people ping the shit out of me. I am a YouTuber, in case you didn't know. Um, I get a lot of people that ping me. Uh, I probably should have explained this, but I'm actually... I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I'm Durag. Uh, if anybody has ever seen any of the previous... Posts, event videos with the flying camera guy, the Seether guy. He usually calls me like something like along the lines of a tank commander. Uh, 
tank master commander uh, i don't know what he says but usually it has me in high praise and yeah i love my tanks uh i'm not good with german tanks too much but I, i'm really great with the cromwell or a shimmer firefly um i'm decent with the german tanks when I'm going up against other tanks, I can always win, but when it's an AT, it's tough to, it's really tough to spot those, especially if they're in a set-up position. So, I mean, this is, like, really where I got wrecked last time, because I was so confused as to where the enemy position was. Um, and I really hope that it's not the same for these German guys. It looks like they're actually starting to come up on the position of the British, but it looks like the British are actually spreading out here. They're doing some recon forces. Yeah, we got recon over to the east and somewhere down to the south. They're trying to figure out which way the enemy is coming from so they can prepare, I, I imagine. And so we got Germans sweeping in. Uh, they might actually be on a vehicle. Hold on. No, they're just walking. Okay. Yeah, these guys are gonna come up on the frickin'... Ooh. I don't know about that. It's a lot of open field. Actually... It's a lot of open field. Hello? Hey, Durag, how is it going? Well, I'm looking at uh, the German forces here. And they might actually be in a world of hurt if they decide to keep going. Uh, like, I mean, I get that they haven't spotted them yet, but shoot, if they keep going this way, they could get slaughtered. Right. Um... The Germans will have two fobs uh -huh. uh, to continue the assaults. But yes, what is really interesting to see is we've got, it seems as though we've got three German tanks. And that seems to be a rather low amount of tanks to me. I'm a bit confused though. I thought... What's, what's the limit on the tanks here? I thought it was supposed to be like two Panthers and a Panzer. Or no, two pa Two panzers and a panther. I keep mixing those up. Um, the event uh, for the German assets, there were two panthers and two panzers. So I, I, susp I suppose this is correct. They've got, uh, it seems as though they've got three tanks. So that's likely one panther and two panzers. Um, it'll be interesting to see how long they hold on to these because these are very precious. They already lost a panther in the first act. So, I mean... They only have, like, what, two left? They have one panther and two panzers left. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a uh, total of three tanks currently. It'll be interesting to see how long it takes before the enemy... Uh, I mean, we'll see, right? The enemy, uh, they may not take out a single one. And uh, the, last, uh, the last event, um, the armor, you know, for the German team was very essential. I mean, it's essential this time as well, so we'll just have to... Uh, We'll have to see how that works out. Oh, well, it looks like the Germans might have actually spotted some people. Oh, uh, yep. They spotted all the fortifications. I have to wonder... In, uh, which area? Uh, to the north, there's a squad of Germans, like, right on the river. They just spotted a bunch of fortifications over by... Uh... Damn, that tank really... Copy. Yes, fire. I'm seeing that. So the Germans will have 35 minutes once contact has been reached to destroy these ammo, cra uh, ammo crates. I, yeah, it looks like it's an entire easy section up north here. We'll have to see how uh, they fare in the uh, midst of battle. Anybody I know? I don't know this guy. I don't know that guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know any of those guys. Let's see. These are squad ops, what you're looking at. But uh, the easy... Um, there's a, the guys on the German team. Those are all easy guys up in the north. Uh, I saw a couple of 
easy guys, so maybe not. He was lying to me, I guess. Looks like they're actually shooting back at them. Must have spotted them. Do they have an AT over here? I don't think they do, right? I think an AT is shooting at them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's an AT somewhere to the... Where's it at? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop on foot, Durag. Do some, uh, do some protection combat of these uh, ammo crates here. See what I can do on foot. Good luck. Uh, did they take out that tank? I think they took some pot shots at it. I do rag, I'll be right back. Alright. Can they kill anybody? need to take out those ATs. Those ATs are what make or break this game. Oh shit! Did they take it out? Ooh, just missed it. Is this guy dead? Uh, this guy's a little off here. Yeah, this AT is going to kill that tank. Is this guy just taking paw shots or is he actually... So I'm gonna turn up my field of view here. What's field of view? Nah, he's, he's aiming way too low. You're gonna have to... You're gonna have to pull it up, buddy. He's just wasting ammo at this point. He's literally wasting ammo. Yeah, that, uh... I don't know what the hell the name of that tank is, but that one tank that's to the north is actually giving them a lot of covering fire. They might have actually taken out that little squad that's inside of a, that bunker. Yeah. Hey, Durag, so it's looking like uh, there's a 38-minute defense going on now. If you check the timer right now, that is the amount of time that the Polish have to defend all three weapon crates uh, to win the game. So the Panzer IV doesn't know exactly where that AT gun is, but I don't think it really mattered because the AT, the AT gun is just fucking shooting pot shots. He wasn't even hitting the fucking Panzer. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Like he was, like he was just rapidly bang, 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 and the thing is just going and hitting the ground. He's still hitting the ground. He's wasting ammo. Jeez. Yeah, that is a waste of ammo. Oh wait, that one might have actually. No, he didn't. But it looks like that tinier tank, the tinier German tank has been pummeling these troops right here. Yeah, they're like backing off from this bunker. We've got Germans coming in from the north side on factory. Any more Germans coming in from the south? I gotta go faster. Flying speed. Shift to go fast? Sorry, what? Does it shift to go faster? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Never 
So we got a lot of Germans coming in from the south side. Uh, I think they're just shooting at random infantry that's inside of the trees that are right here. At least I don't see any significant force here. They might have taken them out though, I don't know. Got a couple of guys moving back towards the tree line. Not too many guys on the south barricade here. I mean, if the Germans wanted to push in from right here, they could actually have a pretty good time doing that. Yeah, Durag, I've got to admit, I'm a little worried at the spacing and the allocation of friendly troops at Drill right now. It does not look like they have all directions covered well. Yeah, it looks like the Germans are doing a fantastic job at shooting from long range. They seem to be bombarding the hell out of that church. Uh, not only with tank fire, but also mortar rounds. Right, yes, I did see that the enemies had mortars up. That is going to be a big thing on this attack. Uh, looks like one of the German tanks is trying to shoot the shit out of the infantry that's to the south west of the fortifications. Um, he's actually doing a fantastic job of killing off these guys. There's maybe only like four of them left in this forest here. Gotcha, yeah. I'm up north here, gonna see uh, if uh, we've got enemy infantry coming in on the factory. So I could muzzle my, my way on over there. Uh, looks like the troops that are on the in the middle... This guy's just wasting his ammo. This AT gunner is just wasting his ammo. I don't think he's actually hitting anything. Oh wait, did he hit something? No. Alright, well, let's see what this German uh, offensive looks like here. Oh shit, I hear a. Uh... Well, that might be on the AT gunner. Oh no. I was on that forest down southwest. That might have killed all of them. Uh, yeah, they killed a good majority of them. I think it's really futile to stay in that southwest there. They're pretty far away from their defenses. If the Germans decide to come up on the southwest, they could possibly take that location. Uh, but it seems like the Germans are doing long-range attacks. Oh, they're actually moving up through the tree line that's right there. In the southwest. Like, I'm curious to see what this northern uh, German guys do here. Oh, we got a British moving up on him. He's going Rambo. Let's see what he does. It looks like the German force has been wiped out here in the north. We got one guy here. Is that friendly fire? British guy. Yep. Yeah, these guys have been completely knocked out on the north side. They're not going to be able to take that. Which is actually too bad because they were actually doing fairly well. I'm not sure what happened to that other tank that they had. Was it knocked out? Curious. Did that AT gunner actually get it? Because I don't see it. I don't want to explore all day, though. I don't see the carcass. Maybe, maybe it got out? I don't know. Hey there, I'm back again. Sorry, I had to sort out some trouble. Jackal was wondering about sending a sapper out. 
to blow up uh, these tanks that are firing from a distance, but uh, it would seem that per the rules of the event, we cannot allow them to uh, be sending their troops out. Yeah, I can't tell if, um, what is it? What happened to the little tank that was up north? I'm not sure if it got taken out or not. Well, it looks like the Germans are coming in on the west side there. Um, maybe they somehow listened to my advice, but like, remember when I said that the west side was kind of exposed? Right. I mean, it looks like the British are moving up on the west side here, so it's not as exposed, but I believe there's more Germans than there are British. But it looks like uh, the British are actually dwindling the numbers here. Right, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt to that. Sounds like we got a tank coming up. Two tanks coming up. Oh, fuck. Those British might actually be fucked on the west there. That half track is really, really cutting into them. Oh, yeah, the British are on the retreat here. They're trying to get out of there. Yeah, this west side is pretty exposed. Let's see, there's more German offenses coming in from the German offense offensives? Offensives. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Coming in from the south side. Doesn't look like there's a big enough force though. Um Hmm. over there let's see it's curious is this the uh, mortars yeah German mortars yes are... it's it seems as though uh, the Germans are making heavy use of their mortars um, I'm not quite sure where they're bombing right now because I'm on uh, it looks like they're bombing the shit out of the church. Um, I mean, that would be great if there were actual people in it. Like, if they were to back up the target just a little bit, they'd knock out like five fucking people right here. There's like five people on this one objective. Right, copy, yeah. Come on, dude. This shot is money. Just back up the mortars a little bit. Oh, this is the money shot. Oh, and they're moving. Damn. Do ragged seem as though we've got an enemy Panzer approaching the uh, the middle weapon crate for the British side. Uh, part of that German push from the west. Yeah, there were, I think I said earlier, there's not a whole, oh, they took out one of the ATs. Ooh, that could be bad. Yeah, that Stuka strike took out the AT. Oh, man. Yeah, and this area was just heavily undefended. Um, there was maybe like four guys last I checked over here. And now there's even less. There's only like one guy. Yeah, that west side, man, they are taking advantage of that. Yeah, I'm on the, uh, I'm on a Commander Jeep MG shooting down some contacts out west here. 
Don't let that tank spot you, Mike. You might be dead. We got a bunch of British guys moving up on the west side here. The tank might want to back off. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I still got an enemy rally. Look like the tank I hit it all, but it looks like that west side attack was actually destroyed. Um, it looks like the British actually got back on their feet and just annihilated that west side. Yeah, they're like all over here though. Like the church is like almost undefended. This is like opening up an attack for the east side here. Yeah, there's nobody on the east side. Again, there's another opening for the Germans. All the British are on the west side. That's right. That's I'm seeing that too. I'm trying to adjust my guys. Oh man, it's really too bad the Germans aren't taking advantage of that. Panther Panzer IV backing off. Yeah, so it looks like the British defense has actually been pretty solid. Um, that west side was pretty was pretty bad before, but it looks like they just all collapsed on that west side. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how the German team tactically adapts. They have commander call-ins, they have tanks, and they have this team surrounded. There should be no excuse to not take this objective efficiently. Looks like all the Panzers have backed off. Um, I don't see too many... I don't see too many tanks on the field, I think... Oh, looks like the Germans have actually started to push up here. On the east side, but I think it's kind of futile? Futile, because there's like a bunch of them, then there is more... There's a bunch of British people, then there is more Germans. Right. But there is a lot of fire going on on these British guys, and I think they just wiped out a fuck ton of them. Yeah, there goes like five British guys. So these Germans could actually win. I'm actually getting contact in the southwest right now in these little um, patches of houses. This German guy doesn't see this fucking British guy. He's aiming right at him. He's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. All right. So it looks like the brunt of the German assault is coming in from the south side, it seems. Uh, I'm not seeing any decent sized resistance coming from anywhere else. It looks like there's a massive flank from the Germans. 
Let's see how that goes. Got a bunch of Germans coming in from the east side. Uh, but they're just shooting across the field. But it looks like all the British are just responding. Yeah, it looks like British response is good. We are having a couple contacts in these uh, these uh, buildings around the crossroads in the Ooh, south trail. But uh, it seems as though we'll have this uh, settled out in a second here. The most weak weapon cache, because the German team needs to realize the way they're going to win this is by digging down these ammo crates or digging down these fobs. They need to locate the Polish fobs and take them out or else... Uh, this Polish team looks like it's um, equipped to, uh, you know, be defending this area. Yeah, if I was the German team right now, what I would do is bombard the fuck out of this church with AT guns and just push under the bombardment fire. At least that's what I would do, but... Durag, what I heavily suggest the German team should be doing is allocating all of their troops together and hitting one ammo crate at a time instead of trying to do this thing where they attack from all directions because we are able to adapt they need to use blitzkrieg well i mean attacking from one position could be good or bad i don't know it's kind of like for one you can overwhelm the enemy but at the same time the enemy can bog you down so it could go either way yeah that's true that is true I mean, I would prefer the route of having, you know, to keep the enemy on their toes by attacking from every direction. So... They do need to work on getting underneath, getting unseen in a certain direction. And at this moment, it seems as though the west would be the best approach to be making for that. It looks like they're getting defeated on the south side here. Yeah, like no matter how many times the British seem to come out on the east side, they keep getting bombarded by a bunch of shit and just dying. This is like the perfect time for the Germans to like push up right now, but they're not doing it. Like they're all just huddled behind this area. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh Yeah, it's time for the German commander Lockie to uh implement some uh some good tactics here. A double envelopment would probably be the best, hitting it from both sides using some Commander Collins. If they could at least well. get to the church, they can cut off the enemy. Right, that's what I was saying earlier, is that the churches do play a big role in a footholds in the city, you know? But I don't know, uh, unless... Fuck, a mortar strike right there would be great. Oh, what a shot! That killed all of them. At the church. Right now would be the perfect time to push in to this church area. There's not that many guys, but they're kind of just sitting there. Uh, let's see, on the south side, they aren't faring too well. On the west side, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. Wait, repeat that last bit? Are you cheating? I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> no, I'm actually curious. I won't relay anything. Yeah, okay. I'm just wondering. Anyways. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I am, uh, I am noticing that the west side is exposed. You know, but uh, it looks like they're uh, relocating one of the QRFs back to the west, oh. which is their stationary position, so we'll be interested in that. Man, that one guy just shooting at a tiny bunch of guys, but he doesn't realize that there's a fuck ton of them coming up behind him. Looks like we got a German force that's pushing up on the church here. Uh, let's see how they do. There's not that many British guys here. Right. 
Dude, these mortars are off. They just killed a bunch of friendlies. Unless those are enemy mortars. No, those are friendly mortars. I'm just going around in my car yelling, keep up the fight like a morale officer up in here. Yeah, it looks like the north really hasn't had any action. Um, oh, they might though. Come on. Well, while that's <clears throat> well, that eventually comes. I'm gonna go back over to the church here because it seems like the Germans have actually lost this fight, but the British have had heavy losses in terms of like tickets. Uh. No, just losses on this general side. Oh, the, right. the Germans are having a tough time just trying to cross this field. It's too open for my liking. Yeah, these are some big open fields. Um, yeah, the best thing really would probably be to uh, try to get into the factory. You've got a lot of buildings there, and uh, there's not enough Polish people to cover all entrances. Well, speaking of which, there's actually some that are getting into that area um, oh <laughs> nice yeah we got a couple of guys coming in from the west side it looks like there's a guy that's actually going to check it out does he have a sneaking suspicion because if he does he's right it's probably like it's too quiet <laughs> Those guys are just, uh... Looks like there's two of them pushing up to the west side here. But the entire fucking... <clears throat> an entire fucking squad of Germans has just moved into the west of the factory. Let's see how this goes. Gotcha, that'll be interesting. There's only two guys against a bunch of... an entire squad of Germans here. And he noticed them. So now the OMPS guys are trickling into the west side there. Um, if the Germans just stay put and just kill them one by one, they should have a better time. Yeah, Durag, what I'm seeing right now is uh, some heavy pushing from the Germans. It looks like they cleared the, uh, the church in the east. But Oh, no, Manzi's squad is spawning back. They are spawning back, and they may be able to curb this uh, assault. Yeah, there's not enough. They need mortar fire. Or, or at least a fucking Stuka bomb on that church. Yes, yes, that would really help. They need to do some type of breakthrough here, because if, it's, if not, then they're pretty screwed. I, I see this being as a British victory. I think, like, the... Yeah, they, uh... The, sorry, go ahead undefended side it seems so far is the south but um, I mean there's not a whole lot of enemies attacking that so I think they've actually given up on the south and started pushing up north it looks like we lost the Panther 4 oh no uh, it looks like the I keep saying Panther it's Panzer Panzer 4 it looks like the only tank that we have left is uh, Okay, we have two tanks. We have that tiny tank that shoots it. Oh no, there's another Panzer here. Okay. Yeah, and Durag, it looks as though my team has lost both their AT guns. So there is no AT capability outside of the uh, the uh, M1 bazooka, or excuse me, the Piats and the, uh, and the Sapper kit. It looks like the Germans are pushing into the church right now. Um... Oh. Uh-oh. 
Michael, you might want to be careful. <laughs> I know I'm seeing this. Ooh, oh got him. <laughs> man! Came up behind me, got me. Ah, oh, jeez. You ran right past him. Oh, I did? No way! <laughs> it was Kenny. He whooped your ass. Shit. Alright, so let's see, the Germans are actually doing a really good push here, but they need more people on this point. Um, now there's still quite a bit of guys inside the church there, there's at least three of them. Yeah, and they're pushing into this house here too. This guy might actually be fucked. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, the Germans. The German. At the last event, the Germans took out two ammo crates in the last five minutes. So we'll just have to see how the things heat up near the end of the game. It looks like. Wow, these guys are being ballsy. They might have just lost a vehicle because of that. We'll see if it's worth it. Yeah, they. Yeah, the Germans weren't fast enough. They didn't have enough guys, and they lost the church. Uh, on brighter news, it looks like the west side is getting exposed again. We have Germans moving in from the west. Uh, let's see what's going on up north. Did the Germans do anything in the factory? I see a lot of dead bodies. I don't know if that's Germans or ops guys. Right. It looks like Ops has won this fight. I'm not seeing too many Germans here. But it was a valiant effort. I just got lit up. Oh, our FOB is down! Our FOB is down. In the center of drill. That is not good. That'll be a game changer, I say. If they take out the entire FOB. Uh, I don't think they actually knew that the fob is right there. Yeah, I don't think they know. Oh, oh really? Oh, wait, so they're wait, just around. Wait a second. Them. Wait a second. You just tossed two explosives. On no, it's gone. Oh, we lost the fob. That fob is gone. If all the British people. Oh man, this is the only ones that are left. But it looks like the British have actually started. Oh fuck. They might blow up a tank here. They might blow up a tank. He doesn't see it. Oh, this tank is fucked. This tank is fucked. I actually can't spawn into the event because they took that bomb down. I mean, I'm, I have to spawn in the factory now. And I have to be real careful about dying again or else I won't be able to oh. spawn back. <laughs> this British guy just killed himself. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, tank, move! Oh, this tank is dead. This tank is dead. Oh, maybe not. Go, tank! Fucking go! Oh, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Oh, Humpty Dumpty exploded and died. It looks like things are heating up in the last eight minutes of the game. They need to start digging down these ammo crates. The Germans need to seriously push, like, right now. Uh, at least, at least get yeah. the south part of the area. Because it looks like the British aren't holding on to it. Oh, what the hell? They were able to take out one fob. Let's see if they can take out the other one. It looks like there's another offensive coming up from the west side of the Germans, but it looks like it's been spotted. Uh... Yeah, they're well aware of these guys. Yeah, I see a lot of my troops allocating to that area. But it looks like the Germans have actually managed to get to the top. If they could place down some sort of, uh... What is it? 
Uh, like a TNT charge no, or no, something? No, no, no. It's a... They have a radio guy right here, but I don't think they have a commander or whatever. Yeah, we got a bunch of ops guys that are pushing off to the... What is it, west? Got a bunch of ops guys moving off to the west side, like away from the factory here. Now the Germans are really pushing into that church area. Yeah, and Durag, did you notice that they took down the southern weapon crate? No, I didn't see that. So we're now down to two crates. Six, or about seven minutes to go. Two crates. We'll have to see how this goes. The Germans really need to do a push right here, right now. Yeah, I mean, they have their armor, and we don't have any AT guns. They really should be running riot. Yeah, they... I think they only have one tank left, two tanks. Let's see. So we got one tank. I'm not seeing another one. We just lost the Panther. Panzer IV. I see a bunch of like random Germans that are just over here for some reason. I'm in fly cam for the rest of the match. I'm just going to um, let them play out the rest of this game. But uh, but yeah, it looks like a German squad is coming in from the west side of factory. And it looks like they are uh, they are surrounding them slowly and surely. This is going to get interesting. <clears throat> if I was the German team here, I mean... You would have to know if there's like some type of fob in this general area because I'm guessing that this is like an area just to throw off uh, the Germans that there's a fob here. I'm guessing that's what this is because there's no fob. Uh, there is a Polish fob and a Polish ammo crate in the, uh, in the, uh, fa yeah, I know, but is this where another cache is? Uh, yeah, so that other ammo crate, they have to dig that down. Um, that's another yeah, cache. Yeah, I'm not seeing this other cache at this one location. It's uh, on the balcony of uh, the buildings to the east of the FOB. But what I'm trying to say is that if... Um... If I knew that there wasn't a FOB here, what I would do is just completely bypass this and just go straight for the factory. Right. I don't hop the yes. shit out of that. Lockie may be giving them intel reports on uh, on uh, locations to help out the Germans. It looks like the Germans are actually winning up here on the west side, but there's only so many of them. They need to get more people up here. Tank shooting? We're shooting at nothing. I've got a uh, Panther out west um, obliterating some of these enemies. The east side of the factory is completely exposed. Um, if this squad right here, Easy Squad. Easy Squad comes in and decides to go in through the east side, they could almost become unchallenged trying to get to this FOB. Yeah, no, certainly. Yeah, this factory is great. If they could just get a regroup call in the actual factory, that would be a game-changing move. So it looks like we have a tiny squad that's trying to push up on the Panther to the south here. I'm guessing this is a... Uh, yeah, it's a manga, I believe. He just sees it. Here he comes. It looks like the Germans were pushed out of the area. Oh no, they're right here. Oh, we still got a bunch of British and Germans, but the Germans really need to push this area. Because they're spawning in too fast now.
Yeah, it looks like we got two minutes. Two minutes. There are two squads in factory now. It looks like squad five taking up the eastern side and uh, squad squad what two um, battling over here with uh, nine comp squad ops against nine comp. It looks like there's a guy that's sneaking up on the panther here. He might... The panther might actually see this guy to the right here, maybe. Oh. Oh. I don't think he hears him. Yeah, the British have taken out quite a bit of tanks, especially in the early game. This might be one of the last... This might be one of the last heavy tanks that the fucking German have. Right, right. Oh. Alright, uh, I'll be right back. So the German tanks... The German tank commanders seem to have a problem with not moving as soon as they hear something explode. Like, they seem to stay in one position instead of actually moving off. I've noticed that. Uh, it looks like the Germans are... Maybe wiped out here? No, there's a couple of them. But they really need to push in force here because this is a gigantic force of... Oh, look, they're actually pushing in from the east side now. So yeah, now they're coming from both directions. Wow, there's a lot of... British guys that have been wiped out here. We've got a lot of Germans pushing in from uh, the west here. Oh, well. So because the German team did not take down the last fob and cash supply fast enough, that means that the Polish take home the victory. So I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye